What is up guys, I am John and you're watching Johnny Fabs and today we're working on our Datsun. We're going to be fabricating the uh, intercooler piping. So I'm gonna show you guys, take you guys along on the process. Uh, since we just finished up our hot side, uh, we did, did a video on that, so go check that out. Uh, but today we're gonna be working on the cold side. So the intercooler piping from the, this is a Borg Warner S475. So it has a three inch, uh, three and a half inch actually v-band uh, clamp on the uh, outlet and then uh, our intercooler is an on three performance five inch thick and it also has the three and a half inch uh, inlet outlets so I ordered up some three and a half inch uh, aluminum piping uh, I've already started actually uh, making one of the pipes so uh, I had to make this up to make sure my hot side was going to fit. So sorry guys, I already kind of jumped ahead. But you can see on this side, this is that V-band. And then it has a clamp. And then it also has an O-ring that sits here to seal it off. Um, so I had to make this pie cut just to make a tight uh, bend and clear uh, ground clearance. So yeah, and then also we have these pretty trick little um, clamshell things. Uh, instead of using the silicone uh, couplers like you normally would with this stuff, uh, I'm just going to be welding these on. And they're kind of like a vibrant um, vanjin clamp or whatever you call those things where uh, they're, they'll hold up to a lot of boost. But these are just off eBay, so they're like a knockoff and uh, a lot cheaper, but they should get the job done and uh, look the part. So, you know, we're on a budget. So I got a four inch one for the throttle body, and then I've got some three and a half inch for the intercooler piping. Uh, one for each side of the uh, intercooler, and then we might have to use one more for the engine bay just to make it easier to get the piping off. So yeah, and then I also picked up um, this four inch to three and a half inch, which is going to go on the throttle body and reduce it down. Um, so like I said, I already started this side. So we'll kind of fast forward and jump to this. This is the outlet of the turbo and we're gonna start running it to our intercooler on this side. So we're gonna get into finishing this side, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys along. So before uh, we start uh, welding on this pipe, I wanna show you guys how these work. Um, so if you are going to be uh, running high boost or just a boosted application, these are really nice. Or if you just want the style point, um, and it's pretty user friendly. So basically it has this red clamp on it. You can get these in like black, blue, red, um, I think they have purple, but uh, basically you just pull this uh, cotter pin, um, it's like a hair pin, and then you undo this clamshell, this clamp, and then there's this uh, ring around it that you can slide off, and then there's two o-rings uh, to seal it, and then you have these aluminum. So basically these I'm going to weld my intercooler tubing to it like this on this side. I'm going to weld this to the throttle body. Um, and then you're just going to be able to slide this on. And I have some, you can probably see that red, it's just like lube. Uh, just to slide it on easier. Um, just so it's better for filming. But you just slide this little metal piece on. It's a little difficult. Uh, without the tubing on it and then this lube makes it slick but um, yeah once you get it centered on here fighting me it's just a tight fit with the o-rings so once you get it on there centered just like that then you can put your clamp on it just slides over top of this centerpiece and then uh, you put your pin in, and then uh, it's done. So what's nice about this is it's not just a solid like a V-band. Uh, if, if I can show you guys 
if you had a tube on here, you could space it out easier. But with it, see this gap right here? So it allows the tube to kind of flex. Um, so it's pretty neat, and it's going to be a cool little feature on the car. So we're going to get to it and uh, start making some of this piping. So I was just test fitting this uh, four inch clamp on that throttle body uh, and then that four inch to three and a half inch. I just have it on there with tape because I wanted to make sure, uh, like if you see, so hopefully that should fit the hood slope. Uh, the hood does have a little bit of a cowl. Uh, you guys can kind of see it over there, that cowl part. Um, so hopefully that's going to be enough room. We'll have to just tack that stuff and then put the hood back on and test fit it uh, but really because the throttle body kind of angles upwards it's going to be a little bit tough so i'm going to start cutting it uh angling it down and then running that side out uh through here and then shooting into the intercooler and it'll actually be coming out of the intercooler in there but you guys know what i mean so i just wanted to show you guys that that's kind of what I do for mock-up, just tape it, uh, and then I'll just tack it, and then take the tape off. So, yep. So I just got the intercooler mounted back up and you can see flanges on both sides welded up. I already put this other side on. I welded the inside, just fused it together and the outside with filler. Um, so I'm going to put this O-ring back on since it's cooled down. And then, uh, then you put this ring on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Uh, let me set the camera up. And then you slide this ring on, and then you'll slide this ring on, this other side with the O-ring, get it kind of centered, put this clamp on it, over top, snap it together, and then there's a little cotter pin, and the cotter pin goes in just like that. Pretty simple, and then you want to space these out before you weld it uh, with a little bit of a gap, like an eighth inch gap in the middle. Uh, and that way it has room to flex with uh, motor movement. So, yep, gonna go ahead and get our intercooler pipe bolted on the turbo, and then see where we have to make this 90 to connect. So, I'm gonna get to it. went ahead and finished up this uh, outlet from the turbo to the intercooler and then we have 90 down here and then it has this clamp you guys seen I welded these on to the intercooler um, in the last clip and then I started running the side from the throttle body and then it's gonna go to the um, intercooler right there uh, sneaking down I just had to make a 90 there and then we have our four inch uh, on our throttle body uh, so just getting it uh, fitted right now uh, using tape and then a sharpie line you can scribe it to know where you're clocking it on the bench well yeah we're just, just getting this side mocked up and then we're gonna make that 90 and uh, we should be done 